baseball cookies is on the agenda today. So today I will be using the airbrush system. This is the cordless one that I've been bragging about lately. And uh, you'll find that if you get it, you will really fall in love with it. I have. But anyway, this is Nita with WeCookiers.com and welcome to you. And we're going to just go ahead and get started. And in this video, I will be narrating a good deal of it. So this is really for the beginner, kind of the beginner cookie or beginner um, person who wants to, to learn how to airbrush. So good luck and we will see you next time. Okay, here you'll see I am using a 15 second royal icing and this is for the outline. Now there are two ways you can do this. I choose, um, I find it, I do best when I outline clear to the edge like this. Now a lot of people don't like to do that and they like to do the center and move it out with the scribe, but I find that a lot more work and so this is the way I choose to do it. You will also see that on some of these cookies, the edges seem a little rough. They're not perfectly round, but that's okay because by the time the flood is on there and all the airbrushing, you won't see that. And now for the flooding. The consistency I use for flooding generally is around a 12 second flood. And that is what you'll see I'm using here. And again, I like to stay as close as to the edge as possible. Now, when you're first starting out, this may not be possible because um, this is after you get, you know, uh, you get real control of the icing. Um, if it's too thin, it will go over the edges, so I like to stick with about a 12 second. And also, as you saw, uh, I like to take the two, either one or two ways. I like to either take a scribe and tickle down the icing to where it settles. And if it's a little too thick, then I will pick up the cookie itself and shake it, as you may have seen me do in prior videos. you'll also see once in a while I have bubbles and I will pop those bubbles with the scribe which is another way to use the scribe
Okay, we're using Americolor Red, and this is super red. And I like to use my cordless airbrush, especially when I don't have uh, very many cookies to do at all. This was the uh, six baseballs. And so you just put in a little bit. You don't want to fill the cup up all the way, by no means. But enough, it, it'll last you a while, so you don't need to refill it too much. And then I like to take my stencil and uh, uh, stencil holder, and you can get those in Shop Gotta Haps. And put also put on the uh, mesh, uh, uh, silkscreen mesh over that to prevent the overspray look. This really does make a sharp airbrushing when you use that mesh. It's really important. So I just put it on and go over the threads of the baseball. You don't need to airbrush them. You could just pipe on the red if you don't have an airbrush. Um, and then for the smudges, you can always just take and oh, put some brownish colored luster dust on there with maybe a paintbrush. And you always want to have it on paper towels to where you can test the spray before you actually spray on the cookie just to make sure it's it's not plugged or you know it's spraying the right pressure and you'll get the feel of it um, as far as how far back on the uh, little handle uh, to pull back on it. Uh, you don't want to go full speed because that'll just really gush it out. But you'll, you'll get the feel of it and that's the purpose of the uh, paper towels for you to be testing on first. And now for the smudges, the smudge look for the baseballs, make them look kind of real. Uh, I use the chocolate brown from Americolor. Actually, it's, Amer it's Americolor, but it's Mist for the airbrush. And you just kind of want to do it sporadically here and there to make them look like smudges. And you'll be pulling back on the lever um, even less than you did for the threads. And you can personalize these with the birthday number or the team number or a name if you so desire. And on the back side of this video, I am going to link it to some basketball cookies. Now I did this set of cookies, it was six baseball and six basketball cookies um, as a set for somebody, but I broke the video up into two. Uh, but you'll see at the end, there's a little clip of the video of showing the whole set. So you'll see that too with the basketball, but I will link the basketball cookies to this video in the back. So see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching and enjoy your day.